up you guys, this is Ruroni K95 here and welcome to the 2023 edition of my DVD and Blu-ray collection library video series. So today we're going to be taking a look at the werewolf category I have right here, which we're long overdue for a brand new video like this one, which I have never done one like this before until now. So we're going to take a look at it under the category under movies, TV shows, and I do have one under anime for the first time because I know a lot of you want to check this out because we're long overdue for a brand new video like this one because... This is something I haven't thought of doing like before, which I forgot to do one, which I should have done until now, because we're going to get into the new video like this one as well. So before we dive into this, because this is going to be a prayer for ongoing plans for reviewing episodes just in time before Halloween, like the Shadow War episode from Duck, the original DuckTales and the Vampire Potato episode from Darkwing Duck, which is a... Uh, these are the episodes related to Halloween, though, which I might review at this point, just in time for Halloween, that's why. Because we're long overdue for a new one, that's why. More about that for, for later. Because we're going to take a look at that tomorrow. Or maybe tonight, though. Maybe. If I ever get the chance, though. So, let's dive into this video, today, on the Physical Media Video Library Series. Welcome back. In this brand new video, because I know Halloween's in two more days, because just to let you all know, Halloween is on the 31st on there, which is in two more days. Just to give you a little word for that, accordingly. As far as I could remember, though, as well. So, yep, I just wanted to do this video. So, before we do that, because there are some episodes I'm going to review for this Halloween season, though. Which, I'm going to review two of them from the 90s cartoon, 80, late 80s, early 90s cartoons that were on the Disney afternoon that I planned, like, I'm good, at this point, like, the Shadow War episode from DuckTales, and Night of the Vampire Potato episode from Darkwing Duck, because it's been a long time since I've been watching those episodes, because I wanted to review the episode on these two, just in time for Halloween, though, because we're long overdue if I could if I could ever do one at this point though so yeah this part of the whole ongoing experience as well if I could remember though so we'll talk about it for another subject but we're gonna take a look at that next time once I do the video so today we're gonna be doing a brand new video which we're going to take a look at the categories under werewolves, under movies, TV shows, probably under season two of Buffy the Vampire Slayer, and anime, which we're going to get into this video, though, because we're long overdue for a brand new video like these, which I have never done before, which I probably should have done until now, because it's been long overdue for a new video, because... Why not? Because Halloween is coming up, that's why. And also, on the 31st, I might do a move, a re-review on the movie Monster House, which I'll upload at midnight on October 31st, Halloween, as soon as I can, because I'm gonna, there's going to be a busy schedule for me when I do a lot of these videos as well. So, we're long overdue for a new video like this. So, without any further ado, which is right here and right now, let's dive into the movies of what we got in this one as well. We're going to take a look at, in the category under, under for these werewolves I have right here, are movies, which I have right here as well, because I know a lot of you want to check this one out as well. The first one I'm going to start off with is this one, because I had this in my horror movie collection, and this is part of the Universal Monster movies 
as what I remember, though, and that is The Wolfman, the Legacy Collection on DVD, because this has been a long time since I've watched those movies on this DVD. When I first got this, I've been watching these movies along with the other two, and Frankenstein meets the Wolfman on this DVD set as well. This has the original documentary, Monster by Moonlight, which is the original documentary on this DVD, which I'm guessing it's from the original Universal Monster DVDs from the early 2000s that were included on this, on this DVD source material of what I come by to this as well. However, this one is the artwork that I'm going to show you. And this has the flipper disc on this, has the the other two movies on here, all on this flipper disc. And here's the artwork I'm going to show you. Yeah, it's this one. Most of these got a Blu-ray release on here, because especially if you want to watch like a lot of the horror movies as well. I haven't done a review on The Wolfman. Uh, not the one with Benicio Del Toro. No, no, no. The 1949 one movie with uh, Lon Chaney Jr. Because this is a classic movie, though. Because I might as well do that for the future movie reviews at this point. Because I have a good, proper way of doing them as well, accordingly. Yeah, because this just gets to my whole curiosity at what I remember as well. All this. And another movie I have right here, and this is, I guess, we'll have to call, like, one of those, like, bargain DVDs from Echo Bridge Enterta Home Entertainment DVDs on there. Like, they put up in the so-called four-film collector set on these DVDs, and that is the four-film horror collector set. Although, there's a couple of werewolf movies on this DVD. Okay, this one being... Night Shadow, this is like your typical, like, TV movie or something. Yeah, because, although Night Shadow was available on its standalone DVD, it's, I'm guessing it's also in, like, UK DVD, which is in Region 2, which is the Region 2 DVD re locked, DVD Region locked DVD release on here. And you also got Howling 4, the original Nightmare. It was rated R on this one. Yeah, because it's only on the flipper disc on there. Although there were... There's a bunch of movies under the Howling franchise. Like, the first Howling movie that came out in 1981. Like, around the same time as America Werewolf in London. Along with other werewolf movies like Wolfen and in the 80s as well. I, I don't have the Howling and America Werewolf in London and... Uh, Wolfen. I might pick those up on Blu-ray at this point because I need to get those on the Blu-ray releases on here. Because I was here for a couple on these werewolf movies. Okay, this looks like a real werewolf on the cover. But the Night Shadow one? They just photoshopping a, a dog's head on the, this man's body on there. Because I don't know what dog is it. Probably have been a German Shepherd. Photo, photo, like, they photoshop it on this cover to make it look very... Blank and cheesy on the cover, and then put Night Shadow on the title there. I mean, it's really weird. I mean, you, you just, if you look at the cover, they photoshopped it as well. I wasn't sure because there's a long history on those kind of photoshops as well. Another movie I have right here on DVD, and this has been part of the 80s werewolf movies on there I have on DVD, and that is Silver Bullet. This has been a long time since I've watched this movie on DVD, though. This is presented in 16x9 anamorphic widescreen on this DVD on there. However, this movie stars Gary Busey, who is known for The Buddy Holly Story, and Corey Haim, who is known for The Lost Boys on this movie. However, this is based on a the novelette called Cycle of the Werewolf by Stephen King. Yeah, Stephen King wrote the screenplay for the movie, like Silver Bullet. However, this movie is directed by Daniel Attias as well. However, this is produced by Martha Schumacher, which I'm kind of familiar with the name, but I'm not sure if there's any movie, 
movies she Martha Schumacher produced. However, this movie is presented by Dino De Laurentiis as well. Yeah, because there's a lot of movies like these as well. Because I just wanted to come by for this movie. There's another one I really need to get that I will get at one point, which is An American Werewolf in London. Because I'm very sure I might pick up the Arrow video Blu-ray release at this point. And also, in addition to that, The Howling on Blu-ray. Because I know it's from... Because I bet Scream Factory released it on Blu-ray, though. And another w movie I have right here. And, well, this isn't strictly a werewolf movie, but it's a werewolf-related movie. And I got this from Warner Archive Collection. It's a, th But this movie is about two lovers that have been cursed by the evil bishop in this movie. Lady Hawk. This is a classic movie from Richard Donner, because... This movie is about the two lovers, like, by day she becomes the hawk, and she becomes the human by night, and then by day the knight is the human, but when by nighttime falls, he becomes a wolf. So this is particularly uh, more different than your average werewolf movie. Well, technically this is, well, this is basically a werewolf-inspired movie, because, well, this could be... Co I could put this on the par with other werewolf-related movies on there in the genres as well. Some of the cinema photography in Lady Hawk was done by Vittorio Storaro, who worked with Dario Argento in this movie. And this movie is directed by Richard Donner, who worked on most of the Lethal Weapon movies. And I think he also did some of the Superman movies including the Richard Donner cut edit version of Superman 2 on there as well, because there's every versions on there as well, because, however, I do have the original 1997 DVD release of Lady Hawk. The, however, other versions of Lady Hawk on VHS and DVD from Warner Home Video, they never bothered showing the War either of the Warner Brothers logo at the beginning of the film, Ne or neither does, or the 20th Century Fox logo at the beginning of the film, but this Blu-ray release from uh, Warner Archive Collection, this has the Warner Brothers logo at the beginning of the film on here. However, there is also a UK DVD import or the Italian import DVD release of Lady Hawk, which it has the 20th Century Fox logo at the beginning of the film. I might as well pick up the uh, the UK import or the. Italian import of Lady Hawk on Blu-ray or DVD because it has the, the Fox logo at the beginning of the film on here, which it was never included on the Warner Archive Collection release on here. Despite this movie was being released theatrically in the U.S. by Warner Brothers, but in other but international in Europe, it was released by 20th Century Fox because although Disney bought 20th Century Fox. It's called 20th Century Studios, that's why, because that's just got to my whole curiosity. I don't have the Region 2 DVD release of Lady Hawk, because I bet it has the 20th Century Fox logo at the beginning as well. Because I have a feeling there's other versions, if I could do a import version in comparison on this as well. Overall, it's a a marvelous good movie in my opinion that's why and at last for the movies on here and this has been my favorites I remembered watching on the sci-fi channel I remembered a while back on cable I have right here on the I'm gonna show you dog soldiers this is a great indie werewolf horror movie you know this is basically how you're taking predator and American werewolf in London all together of how whenever they made the inspiration when they made dog soldiers as well and to me still a better movie than Twilight in my opinion because although dog soldiers is way better though because I considered dog soldiers to be my all-time favorite as well although this movie has stars Sean P Pertwee yeah Kevin McKidd is the star of dog soldiers because I just wanted to come by for this one as well accordingly however this is presented in 16 by 9 anamorphic widescreen on this DVD 
and there's some scene selections on this DVD as well. And this has the featurette on this DVD, and this has the producer's commentary on this DVD as well, if I'm not mistaken. However, this is a 2002... Uh... I cannot find the... Who released this on... Oh, it's... Yeah, this is a 2005 key video release on DVD. I mean, look how weird on the cover is. It looks like baboons on the cover. It doesn't even look like werewolves on the cover, but on the back, you see the actual ones. There's a werewolf on the back. Doesn't look anything like from the cover. Not exactly. They look more like werewolves on the back. Yeah, there's one in, in the cover as well. Yeah, I just wanted to come by for a terrifying horror movie like Dog Soldiers as well. Because I just wanted to come by for this as well. And here's the, the disc on here. Looks very neat though. However, Scream Factory also released Dog Soldiers on Blu-ray as well. I didn't know it. it's got a Blu-ray release as well. I might have could have upgraded this to the Blu-ray at this point because I need to get the Shout Factory, Scream Factory release on Blu-ray at one point because I heard it's got some of the extras on here, um, or something like that, as, or, or not, I'll just keep it though, because I just wanted to come by for this as well. And at last, I have right here, finished on the movies on here, we're finally right into the TV shows. I do have one, where I showed you in my previous category, where I showcasing under the vampires as well. But there is all, but this one's got a werewolf episode on this DVD. Buffy the Vampire Slayer, the complete second season DVD. This one has the 15th episode on season 2 called Phases, which is the werewolf episode, which I'm guessing it's on, uh, let me get, what disc was it on? Disc 4, okay. Yeah, disc 4, it has the werewolf episode. It's only on this DVD disc as well. And not only that, this came with a booklet, which I'm going to show you as well, because I just wanted to come by for how I've been learning my knowledge and research as well because I just wanted to come by for this accordingly just to let you all I come by for this as well for whenever you want to do this as well here's the booklet of Buffy the Vampire Slayer on this DVD as well yeah I just wanted to do something as well and this one has the episode guides on here yeah, Phases, episode 15. Okay, according to this booklet on here, the episode says, in the summary said, Buffy and her friends discover the secrets of, about themselves as they battle a werewolf. It's Hunter and their emotions. Oh yeah, that's the werewolf episode. Yeah, because I just found it on disc 4 on this DVD, though. Yeah, because... Oh, that's... I never know that... I never know about that... However, this, some of the episodes were directed by Josh Whedon, who worked on, who's recently famously known for Firefly as well. But the episode Phases, which is the 15th episode from season 2 of Buffy the Vampire Slayer, is the only werewolf episode I could find on this DVD, though. Yeah, because I just wanted to come by for whenever you want to look for an episode that has a werewolf on it, because... I didn't know it has it as well, because that's very interesting, because I know there's a lot of werewolves in, like, you, like movies, television shows, anime, or, like, certain cartoons and stuff, for what I come by for this one. But overall, yeah, Phases, that's the, the werewolf episode on this DVD set of the complete second season of Buffy the Vampire Slayer on DVD, because I just wanted to come by for this one accordingly. So we finished off in the TV show categories. Finally, this one, well, this one's not exactly a werewolf series, but werewolf-related in the anime category, because I know a lot of you want to check this one out in the anime category on this DVD that I wanted to show you for the first time in this video that I have never done just in time before, two days before Halloween that I'm going to show you. Wolf's Reign, Complete Collection, Volume 2. This covers the last remaining volumes, which are Volumes 5, 6, and 7, the last three remaining volumes. 
I need to pick up Complete Collection 1 that has the first four volumes of Wolf's Reign on this DVD set, which this completes the entire set as well, because I don't think I have ever seen Wolf's Reign. I'm still missing our Complete Collection 1 with the anime legends on it as well, because there's a whole bunch of them. All, otherwise, I could have got by the volumes individually in order to watch this anime, though. Well, this this anime has this character who has been basically shape-shifted into a werewolf in this anime on this one. Because I heard good things about Wolf's Reign on this DVD, though. I got this a while back at uh, Rasputin Music, because this was like $1.95 when it used when I bought this DVD. Because I had this in my anime collection as well, because I just wanted to come by for this one as well. However, this anime was directed by Tensai Okamura. And there's another anime I want to check it out that I, ha I really wanted to get, which is in addition to this, um, which is also werewolf-related. But this anime I found is called uh, Spice and Wolf. That's another anime I want to check out because, yeah, it's been a long time since I've watched Spice and Wolf. When I think I borrowed it on DVD from the library, like, maybe once, and I had to borrow it twice as a rewatch, because I had to rewatch that anime, because I heard good things about Spice and Wolf, though, because, to me, Spice and Wolf is one of the greatest anime series I have watched, and it blew my mind, and I'm still looking for a season two of Spice and Wolf, which I will get Spice and Wolf at this point. And there's the anime movie I wanted to get that I don't have. Uh, Wolf Children, that's another one from Mamoru Hosoda. Yeah, that's another one I really want to check it out at this point as well. Because There's a whole bunch of them out there as well. So that's pretty much it that I have on the category under werewolves on here. Under movies, TV shows, and some anime on here. But there's another one I really want to get that I don't have in addition to this one which is the big one of all, and that is uh, Scooby-Doo and the Reluctant Werewolf. That's another one I really want to get. I think I remember watching it on YouTube on the full movie of Scooby-Doo and the Reluctant Werewolf, and oh my god, it was a good movie, though. I, rem I think I remember seeing clips of it on Cartoon Network's Cartoon Theater like when I was a kid, like back in the early 2000s. And I remember seeing a preview of it on uh, Scooby-Doo's Creepiest Capers VHS which I think I remember, though, because I have keep having all these vivid memories as well for what I come by for this one as well. If you want a genuine to think, though, as well. For all means as well. Because I get into the whole curiosity I had as well for whenever you want to come by for this accordingly. People genuine to think if I could remember, though, huh? So that's pretty much it, because how many werewolf categories under movies? Let's see. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Five movies total, one under TV shows total, and one under anime total. And Wolf's Reign is one of them. Yeah, because I had this in my anime collection, which I forgot to do one, though, because we were long overdue for a brand new one like this as well, because although... Despite, though, this is being werewolf-related, but this is the first time I wanted to check this anime out as well, because I... But the only thing I'm still missing to complete this one is Wolf's Reign Complete Collection 1, which it has the first four remaining volumes. However, which pretty soon you have a complete collection. And this is one of those, like, I guess you have to call, like, older Bandai Entertainment releases on DVD, which with the anime legends on it. This is now kind of like the old releases on here, because pretty soon I might watch Wolf's Reign at this point, once I'm still looking for Complete Collection 1, with all the first four volumes on here, on DVD as well. Otherwise, I could have, could have gotten the, the, the individual volumes of them on DVD, though, apparently, for, to the whole curiosity I had as well. So that's going to be it for my video for, for today. 
here on the Physical Media Video Library series. Hope to subscribe for more content. Be sure to click on the subscribe button, especially if you're new to my channel, because I've been literally getting into the Blu-ray now from World Cinema, Ralph Bakshi Films, as well as Italian Cinema from Bruno Bazzetto, Ruggiero Diodato, and Dario Argento as well. And I'm also getting into movies presented it in THX Certified on this DVD, though, also as well. And not only that, you also got other collecting hobbies in the variety that I have, aside from collecting manga and anime. I'm also literally getting into collecting metal albums from CD to vinyl records, you know, from New Wave of British Heavy Metal, Scandinavian Black Metal, Norwegian Black Metal, there's a lot of metal bands on there, except for metalcore, because I don't really know if about if I'm well. Metalcore is not my cup of tea, though. But I prefer, you know, thrash metal, death metal, as well as um, Norwegian black metal. There's a lot of them out there, because I need to get those on from CD to vinyl records as well. And I'm also getting into patches for my battle jacket. Because I'm literally getting into starting a new battle jacket as well, accordingly also as well. And I'm also wanting to check it out as well as concert vlogs, because I've been literally getting into going to metal concerts, that's why. And I'm also literally getting into looking for band shirts of my favorite metal bands at where I can find them, from flea markets to local record shops as well, also accordingly and be sure to smack the notifications bell button be sure to get notified also as well for more latest updates just to keep you notified as well for more latest updates smack the like button if you enjoyed the video let me know your thoughts in the comments in the comment section below if you like as well just let me know if you like as well like your thoughts or your suggestions as well and also be sure to check out my anime planet or analyst at your leisure because I've been literally getting into letterboxed that's why from because I've been devoted almost exclusively to Letterboxd, that's why. And that's all I have what I got for today. This is Ruroni K95 saying thank you for watching my video. I'm glad you liked it. Hope you enjoy it. Hope to see you soon for the next video. Be sure to stay safe and stay healthy and have a great day. This is Ruroni K95 signing off. Thank you for watching my video. And I'll see you soon for more videos that I got on plan for what's in store. Because there's only two more days till Halloween. Take care. Tauntaun for now for this video because... Halloween's in two more days. Bye.